Hey everybody, I was just looking through one of the Windows blogs and I noticed something that's coming in a future version of Windows that I personally am pretty pumped about. Microsoft are finally supporting other archive formats instead of just zip on a basic Windows 11 installation. So I noticed that when I scrolled all the way down here, reading these, who reads these? Me, obviously. Uh, you'll notice here that it says we're going to add native support for additional archive formats, including TAR, 7-zip, RAR, and GZIP. Now, the one I'm looking here, RAR, back in the day, RAR was, was it. It was way better than ZIP. It was better because you could easily use the software like WinRAR, for example, and you were able to take a big file, let's just say a 500 meg file, and you could compress it down into multiple smaller files. So you could have 500 meg files instead of a 500 meg file or 1050 meg files instead of a 500 meg file. And that was important because back in those days, we didn't have the really great fast network links and internet that we have today. You know, we were dealing with modems. Remember those? Showing my age, obviously. But when we were dealing with modems, you know, we'd have things cut out all the time. You know, someone picked up the, the other phone. Remember the landline? Yeah. They'd pick up one of those and all of a sudden your, your internet would disconnect and you'd be in the middle of downloading a 500 meg file and the whole thing cactus. So being able to download that same file in smaller chunks was often more reliable. And with software like WinRAR in particular, you're able to create parity files. So it's kind of like RAID in a way for, for a hard drive, where you might have a few hard drives and then you have a parity drive. And the whole idea being that if one of those drives fails, you're able to use those other drives to restore the dud drive. Same sort of thing here in software. So if you are downloading 10 different files, you might have a couple of parity files. And let's just say the seventh file in that list of 10 was corrupt. Well, you're able to restore it. And that was one of the really good things about WinRAR. So it's really cool that we can now see that RAR files, in particular for me, uh, are now being added to Windows. So a little bit of an update, just to let you know, keep an eye out for that. It's something that's coming to Windows and I'm absolutely pumped for it because I personally have always enjoyed using RAR over ZIP. So I just want to update you, let you guys know that that is coming. So if this is the sort of information you want to know, don't forget to subscribe and I will continue to do these videos. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.